Most of our understanding on movement comes from mechanical models like this one. And these mechanical models often operate only on two dimensions, going up and down like this. So when we think about a squat in two dimensions, most of the mobility has to happen at the foot and ankle, which is why so many people care about dorsiflexion. But what they don't understand is that the ankle and the hip are supposed to rotate. When I don't allow my foot and ankle to rotate, it looks very similar to the mechanical model. When I do allow my ankle and hip to rotate, something very different happens. If you're missing the ability for your ankle and hip to rotate, you might not have access to the deep squat. When our ankle opens and my hips also open, then I have the full range for this deep squat. Unlock your ankles and open up your hips and ditch the two-dimensional mechanical models that are putting too much stress on your ankle 